Oh, oh, hello, everybody. Oh, hello there. Hello Sorry, there. Sorry, you, you caught me. I'm always on my dang phone. I apologize for that. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? Kids always be on their damn phone. I, I'm sorry, Riley. I didn't mean I didn't mean to. I <laughs> am saying all this to distract from the fact that I am still on my dang phone. Um, <laughs> you said I asked if you were ready. I you asked. did, and then I, I immediately realized after, like, as you were like two, I was like, oh, that's the wrong thing. And then uh, <laughs> I have to send a thing to my family group chat. So we're going to start the stream, and you're all just going to hear <laughs> from my end of the thing for a little bit. <laughs> but luckily, you don't put your phone right next to your microphone because you know proper mic etiquette. I'm going to set it right here tonight. I'm going to put it right. Cannon right here right th gonna sit. i don't like that <laughs> don't do that why would you do that ah gamers hello and welcome to another wonderful wilderness stream andrew and i here are going to be playing wilderness you fucking get it uh before we start i want to make sure you know that we are doing uh a everything we do is supported by patreon wonderful we love it uh, i'm currently watching our minecraft server uh, it has nine people on there right now, and it is popping. We are digging a big hole in the middle of the ocean, but we're not gonna. We're not talking about Minecraft today. We're the not. second thing I want to tell you about was the Moon Carnival coming up in on Memorial Day weekend, but Moon Carnival can wait. Andrew, okay. what was happening during Wilder Myth? Robots. Um, that was, that was Phantom Brigade. We. St we st no, 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 other robots. Uh, we we can't escape them. Um, we finished we finished up one storyline that was about fighting Gorgons. Okay. And now we started another one where we fought uh, these strange uh, robot-y guys were coming back uh, called the Morgathi. Okay. Morthagi. 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 All right. Even Morthagi. Who could say? Uh, we have Jilfer Brickers. Yeah. Fiart McGovern. <laughs> Galir Pete and Zebras Zebras Pop Shove It. I forgot Zebras Pop Shove It. I forgot about Fjord McGovern and I forgot I, that Galir Pete. <laughs> I think in the time since we've played this last, you've gotten into Fantasy High, haven't you? So you we, know we who Galir is time. now. I'm now deep in Never After. I am so deep in the Dimension 20 sauce. <laughs> I drink deeply. <laughs> I, I have several. I think I finished all of Starstruck Odyssey since we last streamed this. Damn. <laughs> well, not that Dropout we, needs any more like support, but also like they're fucking good, so you should support them. Not, honestly, they 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 could use our support. They're they a good independent outlet. If you're not supporting them, who are you supporting? Hopefully us. Us. Patreon.com. Uh, we are we are starting a my new damn, my damn light with my feet. <laughs> Riley, yeah. Oh. We're oh, fuck. How did I switch to my fucking? <laughs> We're all good here, everybody. We're having a normal time. <laughs> Right before we started the stream, you were complaining about how bad a big production stream quality usually is. And I want you to remember that as uh, I watch you frantically scramble through scenes to get back to where this we were. This is a small production. I want to be clear. <laughs> I didn't say shit about small production quality. We are. So we just started a new campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, the deal is that before we. Uh, kind of pushed back this this the group flood, of interloping right? robots, and now it seems like they're coming back and back in bigger numbers. Okay. And we're here to clear them out. Um, so we, we have, need to go uh, here in Cronewild. There's a we mountain need, we range need, there. We need to just kind of explore. We need to just explore, yep. clear out sites. Um, we should recruit a friend here. Mm hmm. Do you Someone want to at Stag Noble wants to join us. What do you think we should do first? I think we split into two and two. One person goes to recruit a friend, and one person goes to the waiter planes. Okay. Uh, do you want to recruit your a friend right now? I believe you control Fiart and, and Pop Shove it. I think. 
That sounds right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fucking no, let's no, go. No, because I control the art. No, I control the mystic. Yeah, I think that's how we split it up. I control these two, and then you control our two archers. I need you to know fully, if I go recruit somebody, I'm going to recruit another hunter. Riley, I swear to God, if you do. All right, Zebris and Fjart are going. Field They've begun. trip. And they go over there. Let's go, everybody. Right. Let's go exploring. <laughs> we Riley, are how you doing tonight? So much faster than you. I'm doing good. I haven't played in a, in a while, you know, so I'm, a, I'm excited to get back into Wildermyth. Um, I'm feeling positive. I got good vibes. I have my winter coat hanging on the back of my office chair for some reason, which is then also reminding me of every single thing I have in my winter coat pockets. Do you have a lot? Yeah, I'm a, were you not in the, you weren't in the Discord the other day when I was doing the, uh, oh, <laughs> I, I carry a ton of shit in my pockets because I don't carry a day bag because I was trying to smuggle an egg to work. I realize that you, <laughs> I do remember, I know, I, I, here's the deal. A lot of times I, I work when you all start popping off in the Moonshot channel. What I need to do is set up a food channel for you all. Um, no, no, you can't break up the channels further. Like it is funnier that they are all happening in one space. And then I'll, but I was there for you trying to explain to people that you were trying to smuggle an egg into work <laughs> so that you could put it on toast or something. Well, I knew my boss was bringing in bagels. And so I know that a bagel is great to have eggs on. And so I was like, is it weird to bring a fried egg into work? To which unanimously, frankly, everyone said, no, that's not weird. No, it is weird. No, I think, no, 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 no. I remember that conversation. You are, it is, it is, it is not weird to bring in a real Tupperware container with egg. It is weird to put it in a plastic bag and stick it in your coat pocket. It's easier to bring it in that way, but I slightly undercooked the egg, put it in a, put it in the plastic bag. So that way the steam would finish cooking it. When I got there, put it on my bagel. Had the cheese on the egg already as well. <laughs> so the cheese That is insane. <laughs> and then I had my breakfast sandwich along with some po pocket crystal hot sauce and, and had a delicious breakfast sandwich that day. Um, mi what the fuck is Milmi's voice here? Um, You're adventurers, right? So you've seen things. And then this guy, Fjart. What was Fjart? Doesn't matter. Fjart is now. Yes, maybe you'll have to be more specific. Have you ever met people who have a second soul? Sometimes it comes through for a moment, reflected in the angle of some light. And then they say things they don't remember or suddenly have skills they never learned. Asking for a friend. Right. Wouldn't surprise me. But very little does anymore. It's weird as all. I thought that maybe if I could join you, I could get to the bottom of whatever it is. For my friend. I can't guarantee answers, but the zebra fetishes can always use war fighters. I forgot her name. I also forgot that her name was the zebra fetishists. <laughs> No, don't get a third archer. Betwig, betwig, betwig. We're on hard mode. Am I right about that? I, we're on we're on A mode. I think we're on the hard combat setting because we were like, we can fucking handle it. All right, let's let's get her ready. It, I, the, here's, by the way, the egg sandwich did go great and easy and well. I had a delicious egg sandwich, and I was the envy of all my coworkers. All right, I'm gonna have my guys take on this uh, these gorgons. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Here's the deal. I th I think that if you are, I I think that if you go into work and someone is like, "Hey, I br I brought in a thing. Today's the day that I'm bringing in a fancy thing." I think if you bring something else to add to it, that's a weird thing to do. No, like if it's the, pizza day and you're like, oh, don't worry. I brought my bottle of ranch. We can argue back and forth if ranch on pizza is a weird thing. It's weird that you brought your own bottle of ranch. I didn't bring my own bottle of ranch. I have 
Mandy you and brought I an bought, egg in your pocket. Mandy and I bought 200 little packets of crystal hot sauce, like ketchup packets. But That's different. Bringing, having a little packet of hot sauce in your desk is fine. That that we I, I bought it from home. The egg. I need to have. I mm -mm, they, I'd shutting down Twitch chat. I gotta read Dreams and Bones by Ann Austin. This is the problem. We open up a can of worms and we're playing a story game. <laughs> this is him here. Uh, Jofer? A walk, maybe. Can't explain why the wind's purple. But then there's a lot that can't be exp. Oh. Whoosh. Oh. <laughs> for uh, Roblox. Oof. You're not death. How do I know that? Uh, but but what? A fish six six your surfer surfer gig a day for surfer. Huh? A shish your burger burger. Take a shish. I don't speak dream ghost. Jeepers surfer dish dish your Two cold memories floated into Galir's head, fashioned of bones and long hidden. But as the figure began to fade, so did the memories. If Galir concentrated, he could hold on to one. The location of the bow, the spear, or neither memory. I mean, you're our wizard. <laughs> Fuck no. it, bows all around. Let's go. Most dreams are such nonsense. It would be unwise to dismiss the ones that weren't. The memory seemed to take root as he walked, and by the time he reached the hollow tree, it was barely surprised to unearth the old bow. Glear? Glear! There you are. Thought you'd been nabbed. I uh, found something. These things sort of just happen to you, don't they? They can happen to anyone. You just have to pay attention. Right. Okay. Tier 2 bow. Now, here is the thing. What is the wet willy? The wet willy is a water bow. The big booty bow is a fire bow. This is a tier 2, so it is better. Water refund stunt chances. I like the refunding stunt chances. I think that's better than the big booty bow. I think the f fire just does like extra fire damage. Yeah, in that case, we'll replace the BBB with the uh, egg bagel. Now, now that you get into here, I can get back into chat because again, this is a kind of Andrew shine moment to show An Andrew can show off his tactics and this hard mode that we're playing against these two wild animals. So, <clears throat> chat. I important context is that I work three minutes from home, three minutes and thirty three seconds. I can draw. I can listen to a a standard pop song and get to work just as it's ending and that's my bicycle so i take my little plastic bag i put it in my pocket i bike to work i get there i immediately pull it out and i say to everybody i'm doing this because a it's funny and b i will enjoy it and i make a i make a little bit of a scene of it which brings a chuckle to my 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 boss and my immediate co-worker who's there but you're lying to I'm, them. I'm not lying to them. It You're is doing funny. it because you want to put an egg in your pocket. Yes. And you think it's fine. To which then I elaborate. I Whenever I do something, I do two things. I say, will it be funny? A. And B, will I, will I enjoy it? And the answer to both those was, yes, I would enjoy a jalapeno cheddar egg sandwich. <laughs> and I fucking did. <laughs> Don't let Riley lie to you like this. Riley, Riley has you convinced that they're doing it for the bit. They're not doing it for the bit. I'm not doing the it bit for is the bit. The bit is a bonus. I'm doing it so I can have egg on a fucking bagel. And it's funny because it is a little weird. Yes. But then when you own how weird it is, air quotes, then immediately people are like, well, I can't make fun of them for it. And I'm already the guy who brings a foldable bike into work. I'm already that weird guy. <laughs> So it's Flash fine. Bang. Huh. 
Alright, stabbed a raccoon in the snout. Yeah, you blinded him and then you beat him to death. Yeah. How does the fact I bike to work with an egg in my pocket make it make more sense? No, I when you're a person that'll when I, you're a person that bikes to work, you just like you're capable of anything. I did put the egg in my pocket. Like it was a plastic bag of egg with cheese on it. Which one of these? Egg are you and cheese. I can't. I can't. Well, because it was pepper jack cheese. It needs cheese. I'm gonna put it on the fucking bagel, Andrew. You didn't just want to bring a secondary, uh, a secondary bag for the cheese. No, because they won't be melted. If I put it in the thing that's already steaming, it's going to be melted perfectly. Uh, I, mm. What, you're going to have part of me. dry I, cheese on your egg? I like that I've taken Galir and turned him into just like an indoor nerd. <laughs> I'm just like upgrading Myth Weaver where he's like, look, if it's got to do with my coat, it's got to do with books. If it's got to do anything I can do inside, I'm happy. That makes sense based on Fantasy High. <laughs> She's eating yogurt. Stunt. Extra okay. Stunt. Which one of us are stunt fuckers? Water um, boosts. Is stunt. So if Zebra stunts, they get a refunded action. So it's probably good to up Zebra's uh, Would you be stunt chance. willing to do that? I am. That's very kind of you. Zebra's. But I do need you to know that I am now. Uh, two items down. Yeah, two favors down. Throwing a rager. Yeah, we're fighting these guys, the uh, the the Mortagi, which have the Watchman uh, and the Watchman. They get extra of them and they do more damage now. <laughs> oh, we're gonna secure this site and find an item. All right, all right, all right. So One of that? the things that uh, I don't know if we'll get like introduced to it in this chapter. Uh, but there are invasions, or like incursions, I think they're called, where they send a huge raiding party out. It is something that we dealt with in the last one, but we just kind of like fought them because they were where we were. Uh, once you make this choice, I'll, I'll tell you what's up. Ambush, Ambush looks, is great. Ambush looks really good. Ember arrows also look really good. But actually, wait, that is when standing by a fire. Oh, was, yeah, Ember Arrows is not as cool as it seems. Then I'm going to get Ambush. I think Ambush and Archery are both incredible. I think Archery might be stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get to that's just passive like, and constant. Yeah, you're right. Yes. That does mean that Milm, uh, Bumpkin needs to get up in people's business. We're going to go to the Squall Timberland. Y'all drop down to the Mallwood. So, yeah, one thing I want to point out. There's a, uh, a four, I guess you don't see my screen. Mm -hmm. um, I'm used to streaming this. There's a on keys font. Yeah. There's a fort, right? Yeah. The way that this works, we can upgrade forts and we can build them on different tiles. Um, and incursions will have to fight their way through forts, up to and including just getting wiped out by the defenses of our fort. Should we build forts along the border here? I. There's I currently don't, a I don't... mountain range that's blocking them off from us. So, like, do we come down to the Squall Timberland, reveal that, and then build the fort there? There's a... So, there's a part of me... One of the things... Oh, we can we can carve a pass through any of these mountain yeah. ranges if we want to. Um, there is something kind of nice about the fact that, like, it is a natural defense. I think that what we might want to do is... Uh, either build one at Stag Noble or like carve through and then build one here at Shepherd Forest. I'd rather oh, build you can one see where I'm highlighting. Can't you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Realm down has the infection right now. So is Ferrith the move? Is it is the move to build a fort at Ferrith and then also explore Molewood and then like y'all slowly click downwards and I slowly move around? Um make a decision and move with it i gotta step away for a second okay okay then in that case we're right back gotcha i'm gonna send i'm going to move i think up here and prepare a defense because i think that is the right move we're gonna go tier two which is not a ton but i think it's gonna really get things across and over here can i move andrew's fuckers here we're gonna move andrew's clowns galir and jilfir down one and then we're going to move. 
I think it is more vul vulnerable to shit happening for it. To it. Fuck, my guys didn't actually move. Fuck. <laughs> Andrew, you've got to... Andrew, I need you to come back, Andrew. Oh, Andrew, I need you to come back, baby. Oh, Andrew, it's like all you happening right now. <laughs> oh, you picked a bad time to move. <laughs> Chat, do you think I should read... Andrew's thing for him and make decisions for him? Or do you think I should open up our Minecraft on this computer right now to show you what our Minecraft server looks like? Which is the better move? Because I can't make a decision for it. Okay, I stalled long enough. I stalled long enough. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> Thank God What's you up, returned. Friend? So, A, you've been ambushed. B, you have come in possession of a powerful artifact. A lot of things for you happened right now, and I didn't want to push forward without you. Did okay. you hit dismiss on that? Uh, nothing is on my screen. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Then in that case, we are gonna, you, you have a fight happening. Do I? Yes. Are you ready? Oh, to humble ends. Is this where we are? Yes, yes, yes. Everything happened to your guys when you left. And so if there was a moment where I was just going to wait and open up Minecraft and show everyone the hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to show all on Twitch. Oh, wandering stranger, come hide from the moon. The barrels are full and the fiddle's in tune. Come ask the barkeep for a bowl, cup, and spoon. We'll dance till you sleep, or we'll drink until noon. I can't believe you actually sang it. <laughs> All right, it's not fine poetry, I suppose, but the chorus is better. Galir glances at a gleam. Jilfa realizes the dagger in her hand is flashing with the mixed light of moon and fire. Oh, it's nothing, it's... Though she clutches it away, her friend has already gotten a good look. It's got the mark of Old Wayne. Old Wayne. <laughs> Batman's dad. Old Wayne. You've seen Ray Wayne's world. What if he was 70? Well, that's what they did with uh that's what they did with uh Bill and Ted. It's too late to deny it. The vision of the blade, once beheld, can never be forgotten. Galir. The rippling edge is oddly arresting. The old Wayne family's grim crest glares, graven into the hilt. I didn't mean to let you see it. But what I intend seems to weigh little in its gravity. A friend from before left it to me. It's a relic she hunted since we were young and knew what it was to desire things. It killed her. According to legend, this weapon, the Oath of Oldwain, was made by the last persecuted Oldwain mystic. It was made for vengeance, to cause suffering. It ruined a whole age of our land, shattered what generations it built. So now, I need to make sure that doesn't happen again. That's where we're headed, isn't it? To destroy that thing? Do you still want to come along? I know it's dangerous. I, I intended to slip away when we got close. You're not scaring me off, Jilfer. Sounds like you need a friend. I'm not there. <laughs> Dark, get out of here. <laughs> We're going to go destroy a weapon or die trying. Okay. So. that You're coming over here, which is great. We have finished the extra build. So we are going to go run over there <laughs> and do some damage. Sounds good. <laughs> well, bye. Bye. Uh, I think we cancel both of the Mothragi shit, right? I'm good with that. Bop. Canceled. And now, let me fight. Let me show you all how it's done. Oh, no, nope, back mind. to me. Jofer leads <laughs> Galir to the ancestral lands of the Old Wayne family. The Old Wayne legend of the rich well of villains for stag noble storytellers. Oh, a group of questionably related kinsfolk living in a secluded manor, practicing dark crafts. Is this actually just a Batman thing, actually? <laughs> Hold on. Practicing dark crafts, like. 
at a well-known villain patchwork <laughs> haunted uh ha- haunted uh, quilt making <laughs> it's isolated say that for it come on it's better if we stick close <laughs> turtle <laughs> I bet they built out here because they were paranoid. Hoarding wealth? Look how thick these walls are. Yeah, and if you had all you needed... Soon they're within a proper ruin, with towers half sunk and many of them tumbled. We're looking for a forge? There's a stairwell. And there you go. You sure this is right? This is how you unmake the thing? Here, take a torch. As Jilferth draws the dagger, the Oath of Old Wayne, its eyes over the forge begin to glow. The, for- the forge roars awake, vomiting hot coals. But like wow. the daggers itself, the glowing embers arrest her eyes. And then she sees two futures in the flames. Jilfier. In one, she sees herself aged and alone, still fighting the same long losing battles she's embroiled in today. That's Batman! In the other, she's not much older than she is now. She's used the power in the dagger to bring peace to those she loves. Perhaps she should wield it. It would change her, but not immediately. In the meantime, think of all the good she could accomplish for her friends and for this world. The unselfish thing would be to melt away that chance, or the selfish thing would be to melt away that chance. What are you doing? What are you doing, Andrew? I wish I knew what weapon she currently had. Jilfier is a barbarian, right? Jilfier is a warrior. Uses melee. She has a long thing. It's not a sword. Maybe it's a hammer. She's got a spear. A guardian. She gets a bonus for everything she does. She does more damage to people in range. I think... I want to destroy the dagger, even outside of, even outside of like meta gaming stuff. Mm-hmm. I think we're gonna we're gonna make that choice. We're gonna yep. choose to destroy the dagger. Break that shit. The dagger meets the forge and instantly melts. The coals jump and fly. Frigid air fills the room, snuffs the torch, and then an apparition takes shape. Oh, is it truly done? You cast away the cursed blade of life. Yours? The spirit resolves into the form of a man. I made it in vengeance to punish the world that persecuted my family so rashly done. You regret it, you mean? The anger was cold in me long before the blood stopped running, but I'd set it in motion. Someone else would need to end it. I can't answer for all the pain it's caused. But to you, at least. The glow that surrounds the last Old Wayne mystic flares brightly for a moment. And he's gone. Gone. Where he stood lies what looks to be a bolt of fabric. At second glance, it's a cloak of ghostly weave. Jofer bends and picks it up. You sure you want to touch that? Just got through destroying an evil artifact, didn't we? This feels different. A bestial bellow echoes down the stairwell. Back to work. The Atonement of Old Wayne. Mantle of Hope and Virtue, 0.5 damage, 0.5's warning, 0.5 potency. Yeah, yeah, Jilfer's just getting bitter. <laughs> just better. Just, just. Straight up. Flat better. All right, another Andrew mission. Let it rip, baby. One of these days, I'll let you play the game. Listen, I'm I'm hanging out with my friend. I'm having a good time. <laughs> well, I'm not. What is a mushrox? Uh, whole body grinding together like a slate stack, fungus, wreath, and fame. In flames. It's big. I'll tell it's you. It's big. That. What do we well, got there? Okay. <laughs> it has 17 health, does a slam for six to eight damage, and has a thing called shoulder sledge. It sure do. One damage, eight range. 
Uh, every other turn, Mushrox charges trampling scenery and knocking aside heroes. Well, discuss that. We're going to stunt. Yep, there's that charge. I was there's just that charge. That. Damn! With a stunt. Kill it. Get him, Jilfer. Jilfer, just swing again. Just swing again, baby. I'm going to, but I... It is good for me to be fused with a lot of things. So I reduce the damage he takes the more he's attuned to. I can't aim from here. Well. <laughs> you can run up and try to hit him with your hands. If only I had like a fancy knife. Yeah. One armor I'm shredded. Shredding That's armor. big. Frankly. Like, frankly. <laughs> Got him! Oh, still up. That's fine. Polish him off. There Grab you go. Home there you the go. Atonement of Old Wayne. Saved your day. Look at that. Another level up, baby. You get a lot more levels when you split the party up a bit. Um, and also when you fight. <laughs> well, that too. Ooh, broad swipes is big. It's an I have the original and I think that upgrading it isn't as big as just the ability to grab an extra action once a turn. Once a yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One action and attacks only cost one action point, so it's almost worth like Yeah, that's a that's three big attacks. damage. You're right, you're right. Maybe just two, but Black Flame. Black Flame. A broad well made sword. Standard sword tier one. Salvage it. Yep, break that fucker down. They leave the old Wayne estate behind to sink into the obliviating muck of time. You good? I'll be fine, just feeling sorry for just all the suffering that gets buried in the stories we tell and the ones we don't. It'll be a while before they feel like talking again, but not so long. By the morning of their return, they'll carry peace in their hearts. Hell yeah, go team! Level up again! <laughs> now a bronze horn warrior, plus 10 retirement age, reduces Whoa. the cost of recruit jobs by one. Paladin, plus five paladin, stunt paladin, 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 paladin. If she ends her turn by moving, she automatically enters guardian. Hell yeah, there we go, there we go! Paladin is so big. <laughs> yes. We are continuing to push. Um, Do you all continue head up to secure that off site? The site? All right, here we go, baby. It's my turn now. Have fun with your archers. Weird day, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, try to hope it's not a no man. I'll keep having the man. same dream. Oh, yeah. An old man, Mr. Wayne? <laughs> Tangerine. You do. Yeah, so in this dream, rather than normal smoke, the fire starts letting off fart smoke. It's yellow green. Everyone starts farting. And for some reason, it's my fault. But then, then a great wind comes, you see, and the smoke goes across the valley where a driving army is camping. And so, huh. Yeah. Sorry, don't want to talk, maybe. Well, hi. Yow. Kadoro. Kadoro. Are these our cats? Wait. <gasps> it's the cats. Kerklash. Ker Splash. Never have felt, never felt at ease ever since we entered these thickets. Every time I let my shoulders sack, something brings them up. Whatever you call something a ticket makes you feel like you're trying to make yourself nervous. This is it. This is, we did this already. Yeah, we've done this story, I think. We have. It's the cat. That poor cat should make it up or yeah, yeah, this is the exact one. Okay, so this doesn't often happen. So if I just hit F, go to skip, will that take me to the end of it? 
I think so. Yeah. It'll probably take us to the place we make a choice anyways. Yeah. Um, do what the lady wanted anyway. Lead her cat away from here. We... Last time we led the cat away from there. Did we? Because we wanted a cat. Okay, I'm fine going the other way. Oh, I was going to say... I that. just could have sworn we went the other direction. Well, because we I wanted... could have sworn that we decided we didn't want a cat, and then we did it the other way, and then we got something else instead. Chat, do you remember if we wanted a cat or didn't want a cat? I remember chat was mad at me, but I don't remember why. I don't remember which decision we made. <laughs> Well, because I think chat wants wants to believe that their cats are going to hang out with them, you know? I I think that... I think that what it was, the, the story is that, like, she died and the cat was left behind here. And so your option is take the cat with you or, like, let the cat... Or what seems like let the cat stay here with her. she gave her life to the cat. And we... Maybe we left the... I thought that we were like, that's not what she really wanted. I'll, I'll leave it to you to make a decision. Well, I don't remember what case, we decided. Let's lead her cat away. Let's lead her cat away. You burnt okay. the thing and took the cat. See, Viralor, I think I agree with Viralor. I think we burnt the thing and took the cat. Seraph disagrees. Okay. I, well, I think that we ended up like... We respected we ended the up... autonomy of the cat. That is a non-answer, Knight of Deals. <laughs> I think that we did burn the thing and take... Yeah. The cat knows she agrees with me. Sorry. The cat knows she agrees with me. What do you think she knows? Did she voice her kitty approval? <laughs> she comes back. She keeps coming back. With Oh, sorry. She comes back. She keeps coming back. With how long was supposing it's been? Doesn't that have to mean something? It's not strange behavior, is it? For an animal to keep a firm thought of home in mind. This witch did predict she'd need chasing off. And look. Look what they've become to each other. So go talk to her. Talk to the cat? Me? Don't chase her off. See if she'll realize a little who it is she's scrapping with. And you're gonna do what? I'll be busy. Whatever spell of transfer this woman worked, by her own admission, she left it incomplete. Saw it almost through, as she put it. So I'm wondering, can another person bang enough stuff together to change the outcome? Or at least shake it up? Is there a crystal to swallow, a mythical skull to kiss? That kind of stuff. Hmm. Here, cat. Here, cat. Thirsty? Because if you are, find me a bucket with a bottom, or you can dive down the well. Your offers to drown the cat? I guess so. Yeah, agreed, but that shouldn't take too long. And I always thought love would be easy for me. I thought I'd just wait for someone to think I was perfect the way I was. But there's things you learn on your way. From here to there, on your way home. Mill me. Can you see if she'll come aside? We just pass scratching each other, right? Really, really, you'll have to ask them. Guess I have to remind you that Fjord's alone out there. Could be fighting our battle without us. There, Raider. In the oven's hot glow, the cottage seems not much different. There's one layered on smell, cold, dark, and familiar. And, to a hue, and a hue to the shadowing that perhaps wasn't there before. Yeah, I know I look like I'm having fun, but I can't help that. Mostly just coming through that journal and figuring out what she left undone. So then I had to button up the pants, so to speak, of this really weird, creepy spell. Big thing was, we burned what's called a phantas Phantom Frasia. Seems our witch collected it, trawled it, but didn't use it. And with that, Horror. there was some fairly eldritch incantations. 
a soul unshelled and bad for swallowings, shorn of its hole, shucked of its shucked even of its shadow. I don't blame the lady for leaving him out. Those words just sounded bad. You were chanting this stuff? Well, no, I actually spell cast quickly, pretty quiet, I guess. But anyway, things resolved after that. Color flooded up into her and... Mm, resolved? So what even was this? This magic, I mean. It's not an infusion stuff, huh? Well, would you know? Yeah, it's weird. It's... I can't really say, except that it seems to be a sort of a thing where the caster is not intimately involved. Is that... Well, like, there's still the same thing of this conversation between flame and flower, but there's no human listener or contributor or mystic, I guess. It's just me. What, does that make sense? Your guess is as good as mine. Guy was supposed to be a wizard, but you made him an archer. Yeah, well, anyway, I don't know exactly what's changed, but except there's more commoner, less panic, almost more awareness, self-awareness. Meow. Yeah. Shy gives to the shadow her long, unreadable gaze. And she tapes a step inside, and another. Is this good? I, I don't know. Cora. Bring. Comes a noise of light being split down its seams, and a blinding and brightness somehow painful to see. In that moment, without cognition, it seems strange claws may have snatched them from the river of time. But they're here again. Pull. The voice through the window breaks their stupor. Just my luck, are you there? Looking for Severus Pop Shot! Looking for Milma Bumpkin! To inside this glowing hut! Muthrogi have been chasing me down through the points! Please say you're in there! There's a reason the teams have split up. <laughs> We're inside, yeah. <laughs> it almost seems she senses them going. For the shadow melded cat then decides to walk with Milm to nuzzle Zebras or on to a different world than this one. Milm gets a cat. Milm gets a cat. Whoa. But I'm not sure if I even. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I bet she remembers you being all friendly out there. But we still don't even know. Now what? Don't even know exactly what remains or what's new, even what she is now. Yes, new new. I think it said fuck in the middle of that. What if she follows? She follows. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. And so we're brought together two figures of story. Milma Bumpkin and the shadow cat who protected her. Is there a woman in there? Can I ask you not to tell me? Meow. <laughs> Looks like you're leaving the fire roaring! It'll burn out or oh, burn all down. Either way, it's luckily fine. If I leave every house, yeah, I'm the one might burn it. down. Ooh, stone okay. spirit. Okay, okay. Milma probably needs a new thing. She just got a cat. Yeah, but she needs a weapon. Tier one stone bow, baby. Look at that. Look at that. It's the cat, man. Oh, there we go. All right. Good luck. No, oh, no, didn't kill. That's fine. Uh, 
I decided a fox flight in hopes that they attack Zebras because he's standing right there. Dodge. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Good Look at fox that. Fox flight. What you got up your sleeve? You just taking a shot? Yeah, I'm just taking shots. Your fancy bow? Taking shots with all my fancy bows. Drop back. Pull out the gun. Rap, rap. Stunt. You know what Watchman that means? no longer has Bone Link. What does Bone Link mean? Oh. Boom. Cleared. All right. Let's see. We can't go that way. Oh, they opened the door. I didn't oh. know they could open knock, the door. Knock. Open up the door. It's real. I didn't know they could open the door. The hit is worse than Milm had braced for. She struggles to stay up. <laughs> That's what I get for attracting attention. <laughs> Everything goes slow and dim. We're going to lose uh, two health for the remainder of the game. Yeah, we're losing. We're losing health. That's insane that she um, gets one shotted by something opening a door. I think I've never seen a bad guy do in this game before. I've seen it. You ran. You just ran forward and stood right I by. I have There's never no in my life seen somebody, a bad guy, open the door. I just did. That, oh, I mean, yes, now I have. That is the first time. I was just very surprised. I didn't know that was possible. Frankly, good for them. I'm happy for them. They learn new things. Old dogs, tricks, etc. Oh, that's hardly cover, I think, but whatever. That was enough. There's more. Malier. It's fine. Surely, if we just simply keep shooting, one of them will hit. <laughs> In the same positions. That one cooked. So he's over there. <laughs> we are gonna. We're both hidden now. Did find me. That's fine. Fall back. You drive it. Fuck you. 85% goddamn shot. What are these rolls I'm getting recently, Andrew? <laughs> what? Who did I upset? A cat of some sort. It's just. I'm rolling so bad. Ever since Lancer last week, just rolling like ass. It's killing me. It's killing me. All right. Let's get this XP. Everyone gets some. Hey, Zebras gained a level. 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 Wonder what he'll get. Hmm. Endurance or rogue? I. Endurance is solid, but in a. So, in. Endurance, if we plan on keep staying split like this, otherwise, I think rogue is going to be your better skill. I'm going to go rogue because we will probably change. To, do you want a great sword? Um, I'd have to replace the bleak spike. Uh, melt it. Yeah, I don't want it. Melt it. You could give your rogue a great sword. They're fine. They all got bows. Usually that would work great, except for enemies new learning new abilities. <laughs> How you holding up? You think about it, we're all slime inside. Our skin is thinner than we think. And under that, a bunch of glorp. Oh, you almost sound like a jealous of the Mothragi. Shall we bleed? But we also heal. We're slimy, sweaty, squishy people. We're glorious singing meat bags. And we fight, and this time we even won. Hear that? We won. We won! We won! You sound like Ariana Grande's character from uh, Victorious. Which, which, which one? The high pitched one? The one that she played on Victorious? No, but which voice? 
that I'm doing sounds like this character I've never heard of. <laughs> the high pitched one? Yeah. It's fair. It's fair. Well, why are we going over there? No, 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 no. Go back. Because you got her killed, Riley. I mean, for what it's worth, again, enemies couldn't open doors before last, before this. Oh. I think they could. We just never saw one near a door before. I've never in my time of playing this game seen an enemy open the door. That is a I, brand new ability. I have. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I'm usually just more thorough. The sun sun cedar cloak. I was like, "What the fuck's a sun cedar?" I got Zebras has to stunt. Zebras got a stunt. Here's what we're gonna do. My guys are gonna go over here, and I think that uh, I think uh, Milm should join us. I agree with you. Wait. Nope. Oh, fuck. Hold up. Fuck. <laughs> She pivoted. You should not go there alone. Incursion. Incursion. Draven in great number moved to attack your land. Draven. Peaceful folk before them, leveling homes and hollowed places. The enemies will travel from tile to tile, attacking and destroying sites until they're defeated by heroes in combat or repelled by the defenses you've built. Their numbers will wear down. Once their size reaches zero, the enemy will dissipate and the incursion will be over. So they are coming from here and they're going through to Stagnoble, it looks like. I think I'm going to divert my folks over here well, to prepare We can defenses. pivot off to Stagnoble after this. Yeah, I'm going to send my three over, and then if you want to send yours two once you're done, we can go from that. Okay. So or if you want to join me now, you can. Nah, nah, nah. Let's finish up where we are. Okay. All right, let it rip. I think you, exit, you exited out of the planning. Oh. I hit confirm. Um... So you're... Wait, hold on, hold on. My three yep. are going. Zebras and Fart are going to have a moment of... They're going to explore each other's bodies. Cool, good for them. I mean, are you going to... Like, you can you can activate your thing that you found. How do I do that? Uh, if you click on the character on the left, uh, Zebras has the thing at the top. Ah. Hey, oh, you look lost. You had a festival. What festival? It's more like a waste of food. Can they afford this? Huh. Well, just go home. Yeah. By all means, enjoy yourself. Well, I spot a dice table. Care to take me on? That was Puddle Dog Bonkers. It was lucky. Honestly, now, do you have a secret? I've never seen someone roll that well. No secret. I'll get on these streaks sometimes. Cards, dice, coins, but not to mention it. I always wondered what would happen if we were just to pick a direction. He's really good at Magic the Gathering. A direction? Just pick a direction and go. Um, if I'm really on a hot streak, well, I bet we'll find a magic item. A magic item? Seriously? All right. You're going to go on a walk? <laughs> Galir, go defend. Bye. We're, we're, we're trying to defend the world. So you all still have not why gone are we in the there? right direction. Why are we... <laughs> there. Go now build defenses. Now okay. you're going in the right spot. All right. And we're going to forget the lurking Mirthragi. Story continues. <laughs> oh, I see the edge of the forest. I really feel like we're scrambling this game, you know? Yep. So this forest has an edge. That's nice. You've been going for weeks. Oh, you won't give up. Come on, it was a joke in the first place, wasn't it? Keep waiting and we'll find what? The magic item? What even is that? We had a little competition, neither of us won, alright? Time to go back to our lives. 
Riley, if this voice is uh, hurting you, you can call a mulligan. No. I hear it in you if you... I'm trying to not be loud is the thing. I'm trying to mix and match, you know? Okay. But can we at least check out that castle first? (laughs) Where there's presumably a magic item. (laughs) Follow me, Fjot! This is you and me. (laughs) I'm the Fjart in this scenario. That means I'm always right. Play Sims abandoned. I say we go in the front way. Be honest, though. You thought this whole thing was crazy and over particular. No, yeah, I absolutely did. The dim halls are broken and falling in. The steps scuff off the don- off the steps. Excuse me, mouse. You can see straight through to the upper floor. Aha! Huh. Empty! Hey, that's life, isn't it? You know, I am glad we stuck this out. Now about that bet? What happens to the loser? The winner gets to rename them, but I'll be lenient if... Interesting. I'm afraid you spoke too soon, Manberg, because there's always a second chest. Why wouldn't they be? Gurk. Oh. Gurk. <laughs> My name's Gurk. Oh, Patchby. Noisy as an anvil tossed down a stairwell. It rolls smoothly. It rolls smoothly back to its feet at each stumble. It's hobbled. Gears crick and knuckles crack. It's when grasping claw reaches and strains. Gonna step forward. We're gonna take a shot at this other fucker. Yeah. 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 Through the astrolabe. Actually. Yeah, through the astrolabe. Got him. Stunted. Oh yeah. Watch this. Stunted. Perfect. Get him, Batchby. He's hobbled. Hobbled and stunted, and then clean up the job. That's what you get with all archers, you know? Mm hmm. Ding a ling a ling. Ding a ling a ling. When you avoid getting one shot at. I mean, listen, bad guys can't open doors right now. Hmm. <laughs> Bone in ham. That's what I'm craving. Craving. This guy's done. Oh, well, time to see who really won the bet. Must we? <sighs> Flip. Watch Fortune's go. girdle. Stunt chance. chance, dodge, and block. Zebras. So here's the deal. Yeah. Zebras wants stunts, mm-hmm. but also, I want Jilfer to be as powerful as possible. That is fair. That is fair. No, we, we want stunt, and I think that this being on a, a, a very fragile archer is a good idea. I mean, I'm rolling really great as far as getting not getting hit overall statistically you were just telling me how bad your dice are this time overall statistically a short while later i don't really get it i don't get what man i guess i should take you gambling more often since I don't know when, little things just tend to work out for me. Often enough that, yeah, I sort of expect it. I realize it's obnoxious. It's a small spur of a moment kind of coincidences. I just slide perfectly into place. Right. Right. Well, the bet wasn't serious, was it? I, I know I wouldn't have held you to it. We can discuss it later, man. I need a bath. I'm now a bluehorn hunter. Become Pirate age monster. plus 10. It's big. That's cool. All campaign level tasks is big. Counterattack after a successful melee attack or dodge is fun. Become hidden on stunt is cool. Yeah, I think I think that I'm just I'm tin roof stunting. Let's see. Y'all are should I meet you? We're going to build defenses. Do you want to join us or do you want to go back and finish your. 
we can we can if we focus on defenses here, we'll be ready when they arrive, and then we can uh, split up and clear these two areas. Yeah, quick, and then maybe split moving. up in a way that is all of us together, <laughs> that isn't like our our two different groups. Yeah. Level two, and, and level three. Ding. Okay, so good news. At level three, I'm pretty sure is a size four invasion. Uh, never mind. Okay. Well, um, no, not Carver Pass, right? Well, I was I'm trying to look out. Not right now. Okay. I was like, how do I get out of doing this? We we gotta hit the Molewood. We can gotta assault Raven Marble Keeps. So do we hit the Molewood, secure that site, and then come back to Sag Noble to clean up the Draven? So. Yeah, they'll be here in 26 days. We can we can secure the site and then actually if we send we send just the uh, rangers. Yeah, they'll they'll get over there quick. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> the problem is that I still think I'm in charge. Yeah, you, and you are. I'm not screaming anymore. Okay. We got Heartwoods. And the Thunderbrand Tier 2 Sword. I don't want a sword. I will give Galir a sword. Yeah? Okay. Zephyrus just like me for real. Ooh, and a Snakestone Bracelet. Uh, Jilfier. Yeah, Jilfier's on the front lines. Let's let her dodge. Okay, now we... Come back. Over. All right, you wanna you wanna come back? They'll be yep. here soon. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. Oh. We can. So hold on. We can. There. There. Ah. All right. Now we can defend it. Let's fucking go. Full team. Full squad. Full team. Full eyes. Full All heart. Right. Can't lose. Let's do this incursion and then call it a night. Yeah. Sure. I'm down. Just we're we're running up. On our uh, usual end time. That is true. That is true. The Draven have come. A booming threat, a booming throat hangs in its battlefield. <laughs> Hold on. What does that say? A booming throat hangs its throat battle hangs call. Hangs its battlefield call, its battle call on the air. And the more voices join, sharper, closer, in shriller octaves. Yeah. How should the defenders respond? Be brave, but don't take foolish risks. Who the fuck is that guy? Charge. Huh? Who are these guys? You'll find out in a sec. We could charge into battle, take the fight to them, use our knowledge of the land to harry their approach, or stay hidden till the last moment to fight with cunning. Oh, uh, hidden. I think we have three. Rangers. That's the most likely. Yeah. <laughs> Concealed amidst their surroundings, they elude the frustrated eyes of their enemy. Choosing the moment to strike is up to them. Wait for it. Health and flanking. Begin the combat in gray plane and flanking attacks to a plus two. Okay. Volley of arrows tier three is cool. So, in addition to our team, we also have a bunch of schmucks. Uh, schmucks to help us out. Our job is just to defend the area. And is their job to survive specifically? They don't have to, but I believe nice. it's better for us if they do. Stunt! Stunt! <laughs> All right, I'm going no, to No, hold on. Clear. Sorry, clear. Uh, Zebras isn't done yet. Oh, Zebras is. You can only do Zebras' thing twice. Galir is going to come over here, staying behind cover. I'm gonna interfuse with a couple things to get uh advantage. Oh, I, okay. I'm oh, sorry. You're good. I just shredded armor. I think she's gonna come over here and just stab through the cover. Well, I really thought that was gonna have a better chance of. I mean, just take attacking. the swing. Take the swing. Who cares? I don't. I didn't want to damage 
this thing, because if I do, then... Alright, we got Turgar. Turgar is going to cower by the door. Safia is going to run in. Destroy my cover. And the thing that I was interfused with. Well, that's a shame. She's not a trained soldier, you know? That's kind of the thing that... Yeah. We gotta get this storm throw off the map. I'm going to move her up and around and then take a stab back at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah someone's gonna have to finish it off. Uh, we'll have Sephia finish it off. Done. Nice. Let's see here. Um, Zebris is going to... Then I'm going to grasp this guy to pin him. Nope, nope. Block, block. I'll polish him nice. off. Nice. That's why we built a stunt. Exactly. Let's see here. If I move, will that immediately end my turn? It will. Okay. Yeah, then I'm going to run. What can I get that would, like, draw attention to me? I sent Turgar in to uh, shoo the bird that was harassing Sophia. Thank you. Alright. Can we get, like, good positioning at all? Can't hit that up there. Hut, 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 hut. We're down there. I'm gonna volley of arrows. This guy down here. This dart. I think we should save it for something bigger. Hmm. But if you want to, you can. I just can't do anything else. Yeah, I think we can just let him get a little closer. Ooh, so that's... So step. Alright, well in that case, I guess we're just gonna... Yeah, wait. Fine. Storm throats on the field. Gonna pop it. I'm gonna. What'd you pop? The, I'm shooting south of us. Okay. All right. I think my guys in the north. I'm gonna. It's heroism time. Take attack number one. Take attack number two. Grab the bird out of the sky. All right, I'm gonna send Turgar to go peer on the backside here. Yeah, nothing. Okay. All right, well, Zebris, I guess you're done. Galir is going to withdraw his interfusion on that cart. Interfuse his campfire. From the south. Perfect. I'm gonna fuck this guy up. Oh, come on. Bullshit. Fuck you. Alright. They're officially done sending in reinforcements. I'm gonna start a fire. He's stunting down south. Yep. So Zebras gets basically two attacks every turn as long as someone's in rage which is fucking cool cool where is an enemy do we know there's one up north I'm gonna send uh, Jofer out to scout for it because she's got paladin it's not up north it is not up north so it must um, be to our left I guess so Oh, no, it's her south. Oh, well. That's fine. That means you've walked into Archer Town. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Safety Town. Pachu, pachu. Get lit the fuck up, huh? All right. Great job, team. Incursion handily held back. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was gonna take a lot longer than it did. Uh, you wanna take over Raven Noble Scales and then I, we'll call it? I was gonna say, let's send the whole fucking crew. 
cancel Mithragi. Mithragi officially canceled. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We are doing great again, Andrew. If you ever watch a feather burn and try to map the journey of every blown ash, you will know something of the futility I have known. Company of Crows by Douglas Austin. I've seen the end, watched it come and watched it pass many times. I know something of what lies ahead. Jilfer and Fjart wait for the others to come up the road. Taking shelter in an abandoned place, they've chanced on another traveler. You tell fortunes? Some, some I tell. tell, and some I swallow. You will understand my close talent keeping. Then you do have something to offer. Perhaps more and less than you think. Rain chatters on the thatch. I see things written in the turning of storms, in silver wet letters, in shaking pages of rain. I read, read of dreams left behind this yandering, and I read of dooms the years pass, the uh, years intend. I read until my eyes shine and my stomach roars. Next. I so have read the leader now. I know what you are meant to be. That feels like a burden to us both. Do you believe in fate? I, I don't always. No one demands you believe. You only must endure what happens. The old storage building smells like ancient hay, moist rock, and the burning pine pitch of their torch. The woman's robe moves like it's a part of her. She shrugs. Fortunes were given to crows to tell, and crows were kind enough to share their gift with witches. A witch, well paid, shares fortunes with the way blind. That was a way blind in Boy Scouts. Uh, drop. Bly Ooh, give tell me our future then for a drop of my blood. I have dreams of black wings or a sly deal makes sense you're surrounded by carrion birds. It's all you. You get to decide. It's your your character. I have dreams of black wings. Yes. Then you already glimpse the form your roving spirit must take. You have seen it in your sleep and it will not shatter you. Yeah, well, I don't contradict you if you want to say so but you mean i will have feathers you go winged but never flying fast but rarely fleeing your wander leads you to things you never thought you chased yeah Jennifer, i thought we agreed i would be the one you confided in we did but then you started talking like that mm. the rain pause in the morning. Do not worry much, for you will love yourself, lonelier though it may make you. There was a queen, too, in my dream. She halts momentarily, the stillness of a startled bird. Some dreams are only flights of fancy. The night elapses. The rain sounds like a river of dragonflies flowing by. Snoring thunder is occasional and soft, growing ever more distant. Jilfer and Fart sleep at some points, taking turns. The woman walks out into the pale pre-dawn. Without a sound or pain, or any observed moment of metamorphosis, Jilfer wakes up, booinged. They'll continue on to Raven Noble Scales. Hey, Fiat, there you are, Jeff here with you. Couldn't find you in the rain, had to camp. Uh, with that, I got wings, baby. Kakaw. <gasps> Dibs. Yep. Dibs I'm respected. getting so much. This what, what do my wings do? Plus one speed, plus ten dodge. 
I'm crow touched. My inner crow is showing. That's cool. Okay, cool. You got plenty of space up there. Caught you. Do I get to make a wish yes. now? Leaf, spear, leaf, spear, leaf, spear, leaf, spear. Jilfier got kitted out. Stunt gets two temporary health to the hero. Um, you're going to get it. This is the Talon. Hell yeah. Meanwhile, I guess should probably deal with the enemies at hand, huh? Yeah, don't worry. We got a bunch of archers down here. Stun on him. Oh, what? Stun on him. Hello, my friend. Oh, that's the wrong move. Well, blind to the thing. That's fine. It's blind. Can't swing at us now. Missed Lunar me. Sunlight, welcome. You are... Uh, it's a good game to have on your wish list. It's because it's a good game and sentence. Oh, we're going to that fucker off. All right. Dead. Roasted. Galir. I'm going to send... Can Zebras really get up close enough to... I can't get within range of all the fuckers up there. So is your best move to maybe step back a smidgen? Probably, but that's not fun. But it is wise. Weird to, weird things to hear you say. Yeah, both my fuckers have entered, entered hidden. Oh, I found you. Fuck. We're That's doing okay. all right. One of uh, one of my 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 warrior Jilfer just got got wings. They did. They, they realized did. Jilfer has crow. wings now. They fly now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> How are you doing? There we go. Oh, I really thought I'd be able to interfuse with something up there. Um, get some rubble. If and pop, this lamp, because we need to resist a couple moves this turn. Have all your guys moved? Yep, I'm good. <laughs> if you could pop that sommelier, I'd appreciate it. It's hero time. <laughs> Pull this one. It's very awake right now. It's good. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. 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 And a dodge. Dodged. Gorgeous. Incredible. Popped it. We ha, are ha. so good at this game. We are flawless. We have it on a harder difficulty right now, Andrew. And we just keep bringing it home. Galir and Milmi are now rivals. He just hates cats. <laughs> oh. Steel fall. I know you just got the Talon. I I don't want it. It doesn't have the range. I want the range that the Talon gives me. Okay, then we're melting it down. I'm good with it. I, th I think so. I think so. Turn it to dust. All right. And I think, Andrew, that is it for this evening. I think so. I got to go edit the podcast minds. Yep. You edit those podcast minds. Thank you, chat, for joining us here this evening. Sorry for the shorter one, but yeah, fucking that's how that's how it happens sometimes. Uh, keep an eye out for a our May stream. More information about uh, about the moon carnival as that comes along. Uh, we got a bunch of wonderful stuff, and you'll be able to, A, find that stuff on our Twitter, or if you go to our website, moonshotpods.com slash maystream, all one word, you'll be able to find updates as we put them there for the stream, all the information you're going to need to know. Further than that, uh, fucking watch this. Watch watch our shit here. Uh, we got some really fun stuff coming up in April, and you're going to want to stay tuned for it, um, including uh, including a lot of just 
Patreon exclusive content, you know? You know, you'll find out more stuff about that as we get closer to it. But uh, Andrew, you got anything else to, to close this out? Well, speaking of things here, I do want to break out. Uh, we've had a couple of like, we haven't really announced these necessarily. I, frankly, as a podcast network, I don't even know what announced TM means. I guess we haven't put it on Twitter as like a deal, but uh, <laughs> we have a couple of extra regular streams that are starting up. So our current regular streaming schedule as it is, mm -hmm. uh, Mondays, Jay is working their way through their ditto percent run of Pokemon <laughs> Emerald, uh, Emerald Rogue. We started with a ditto and we refuse to leave the game until we win with that ditto. Um, Love it. It's a cool roguelike Pokemon ROM hack. I think Tuesdays, am I remembering the day right? This week's been a little weird for me. <laughs> uh, Wheels has started up doing a stream where uh, a bunch of us are getting together and playing games. I think they did Minecraft. They played this on week, our as... Moonshot Minecraft server, the MSMS. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and as they're doing it, listening to old radio dramas, mm -hmm. uh, old stuff from like the 40s and kind of listening as we go through. Um, so it's a cool stream. I want to get more involved with it as uh, my time has opened up now that I no longer have to talk about MILVs on a podcast. Um, <laughs> Thursdays, you and I are here with uh, with the Tactical Thursdays. Mm -hmm. uh, that have, Those have been a little up in the air recently. They will continue to be a little bit. Uh, listen mm -hmm. to tomorrow's The Podcast Minds for more information. Um and Sundays, uh, Sam and I are doing our uh, the the sleepover Sundays where we just kind of chill out and hang out in pajamas and play cozy games. Uh, we are sort of playing Scarlet Violet right now. I, we haven't really narrowed down exactly what we're going to be doing. We tried to do a Nuzlocke of that. Soul Link hasn't worked as well as we wanted it to for that game. So we're, we're going back to the drawing board and finding a cool game to do with it. Um, so keep an eye out for that. But we've got... Uh, that makes it four... Four... Four reoccurring streams, Weekly baby. Reoccurring streams. So good stuff happening over here at uh, Moonshot. Absolutely. And again, it's all thanks to y'all and the patrons and everyone who follows our stuff. So thank you for doing that. And fucking uh, and until Twitch subscribers. And Twitch subscribers. Also, you Twitch subscribers, we love you. <laughs> also, everything of that is on YouTube. So thank you, Jay. Yeah, thank you, Jay, for doing that. Uh, I can't put up the ad for the pins anymore. So instead, I'm just going to say bye.